In this video I will talk about the save gradients function and all the features in that one. Basically what you can do with Infinite Unify in the version 2 is you can save your gradients and apply it in a very clever way to your to another to a different image. So for this example I've got two images of the same model it's uh, Lara Vogel from Munich and I want to have that skin tone here on that image because I really really like the skin tone here it's like a this is really really nice skin tone and then this one it's a little bit dull so um, I, I want to have a nice skin tone here as well so what I'm doing here is I do my selection so I'm trying to uh, get highlights, shadows, different kinds of shadows, and I just hit create so I get a nice gradient. Let's see if that fits the skin tone, and I think it does a really, really good job here. So now in Infinite Unify, I can go to this person icon and just hit the user layers, the plus sign. So now that layer is saved, that gradient map layer is saved and I can use it for later. So now apply it to this image. If I just hit the, the gradient, it will just apply that gradient on that image. And I think it's, it's pretty cool what it's doing. But there is a more clever way to do it. If I create a new unify layer on that image, on the right one, then it will create a mask, it will create all the settings for the luminosity settings of that, of that layer. So I've got these different luminosity settings here. And now if I want to apply it, make sure to select the Unify layer. If I want to apply it, I will be asked if I want to create a new layer. That's then the same as if I haven't selected a Unify layer. Or if I want to preserve its luminosity, that means these five colors will be mapped to the gradient of the actual image. And this is pretty clever because we have a really, really good algorithm for changing saturation based on the luminosity values. So the remapping actually does not only set the points to a different point, it will also recalculate the saturation and also U changes. So this gives a way better result. Let's just, let's just create another one just to compare it. So this is the normal way and this is the way we would do it. And if you compare that, it's just so much richer and I really get that skin tone that I'm looking for.